Hi, my name's Julian. I'm an endocrinology advanced trainee based at Toowoomba Hospital this year. This is my fifth year of training so far. Patient variety that you get in endocrinology is quite diverse. You can get young, healthy people that have one endocrinological problem that they've come to see you for versus people that have chronic disease. You know, obviously diabetes is a, is a major factor, a major component. Um, of patients that we see and you get to see them throughout the, the course of their life and through all of their changes through life, whether that's through pregnancy, whether that's through developing some complications and managing those um, and coping with the, the um, I guess, the psychological stress that comes with the disease itself. The advantages of training regionally for endocrinology are the mix of patients that you get. We have patients that come all the way from uh, Northern Territory, Queensland border. We have patients that don't necessarily present early because they are uh, very rurally based and they can then present with quite severe pathology. So you get to see signs you don't necessarily get to see if someone presents early in their disease process. The benefits of working in a regional community, I think the, the vibe that you get, it's a smaller place, uh, it's not as busy, everyone actually gets to know each other. It's just a really nice place to work. You get to know your patients and they're very, very grateful for everything you can do for them. So I started out here doing my uh, medical student years, but I also did my uh, residency and started as a registrar and it's just a really comfortable place to work. Get to know endocrinologists where you're currently working and let them know that you're interested in the program. They like to have people that are well-rounded. So they like people that are doing things outside of the, the program um, and outside of medicine. They want team players. So they like people that are involved in volunteering, uh, involved in team sport as well. Uh, but then also research and it'd be good to be able to get to know uh, your endocrinologist where you're working and maybe just do a case report with them for a start. To become an endocrinologist you need to apply for a fellowship through the Royal Australasian College of Physicians. It's a six-year training pathway full-time and it consists of three years of basic training followed by three years of advanced training in endocrinology. The basic training process involves training in adult internal medicine, which covers 36 months full time. That's 24 months of core training, including three months of general and acute care medicine, and 12 months in medical specialties. You can also have a maximum of 12 months of non-core training as well. Advanced training in endocrinology includes 36 months of full time training, which consists of 24 months core training, and 12 months of that has to be a required clinical training year. And then there's 12 months of non-core training as well. Entry requirements for the advanced training program are having general medical registration, uh, being an Australian citizen or permanent resident. You have to have completed your basic physician training, including completing the RACP written and clinical exams. And you need to be given an appointment for an advanced training pathway as well. When applying for advanced training in endocrinology, new and current trainees need to apply each year through the RACP. In Queensland, advanced training in endocrinology is managed centrally by a panel comprised of endocrinology unit directors from accredited training facilities. Applicants can secure an advanced training position by applying through the RMO campaign. Gaining a training position is a pretty competitive process. Um, obviously you have to go through all of the basic physician training, um, complete your exams um, and then um, get through the interview process. There are lots of applicants that do apply for the program and they obviously pick out the ones that are the most well-rounded um, and have done lots of extracurricular activities as well. For more information on eligibility and other key recruitment details, please refer to the Queensland Endocrinology Advanced Training Program website. Going through my training, I've had lots of really good role models and a lot of those have actually been endocrinologists. And I think that's a good guide to see if it's the program that you want to do, is if you can gel well with the, the doctors that are doing that specialty already. And so when I was able to do it 
through my training as well, um, I just found that it was the kind of people that I worked well with, that the patient base that are interesting as well. And um, it's a good mix of chronic and acute medicine as well. So uh, long-term diseases, but also you get to see acute inpatient medicine. I love Toowoomba. Uh, and I want to come back here and stay here in the future if I can. It's a great place to live. You know, that it's the mix of everything that you get. You actually get seasons here, warm, cold, but it's also close enough to Brisbane, close enough to the coast if you need to get there. But you also get the exposure to you know, regional and rural Queensland as well. So we see patients that span all the way out to the Queensland Northern Territory border. No traffic, that is, that is very good. In fact, that's a major draw card to be honest, but I also just like that it's it's not quite as busy as, as Brisbane, um, but you still, there's everything you need here. You can still live in, in Queensland, but actually still get a proper winter and feel like you're, you're elsewhere. I've always wanted to do endocrinology since I was in med school. I've always just really loved the, the physiology behind it. It just seems to make sense to me. It's, it's logical. Training in Toowoomba Hospital, uh, and I guess in the medical department in particular. To be honest, it's a really great department to work with. Um, everyone's really friendly, everyone gets along really well, and that made my training process really easy.